Hey everyone, welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And I'm Hamin Fuego. And we are here to finish off our reviews of all the Freddy materials that is made in video form, uh, at least outside of the fan films. I mm -hmm. guess technically we could review those as yeah. well. But this is going to be the last four episodes that had to do with Freddy Krueger. Four episodes spread out amongst season two mm -hmm. of Freddy's Nightmares. Yep, and just like with the first season, he only got four episodes, and the rest were their own anthology sort of thing with him introducing stuff, but not actually <clears throat> playing a personal part in the episode, mm -hmm. which he did in these four. So. And noticeably, we both noticed this, and I think I even mentioned it in the first one, I believe that these, this season two, they must have gotten a little bit more carte blanche to be a little bit more graphic. Sure. Because we saw more deaths... We saw decapitations, we yeah, saw heart hearts ripped, ripped out, out yeah. and stuff like that. Like, they went a little bit further. And Despite so I'm, still being syndicated, like, you right. know, on, like, regular TV. This wasn't a premium channel, HBO, Cinemax, uh, Skinemax, whatever, Showtime sort of thing. So they were given more free reigns, which is kind of cool. So let's let's jump into them, Fuego. So it yep. started with episode 23, which was mm -hmm. the season premiere called yep. Dreams Come True, which or Dream a, Come True. Yeah, which has a sequel, actually. So essentially, it it's about this talk show host who... Uh, there is this kid afflicted by the dreams of Freddy, and he swoops in to try to just make it into an on-set kind of situation. It's like a Dr. And, Phil kind of show. Yes, very much and so. And he brings on a psychologist and a kid who's having trouble with dreams. Mm -hmm. But he goes on, like he goes to his home, so Correct. it's not just contained to the set and the studio and stuff. And this kid Well, is Dr. Being Kepler afflicted. does. The, the, Kepler. The, yeah, the, yeah. The actual and, doctor, not the host of the show. Yeah, and then it ends up being passed along almost you know without spoiling too much and that's a tough thing these only being 30 or actually no 45 minutes yeah these are, these are these hour are hour long episodes longer. although they are still divided into two separate stories in each correct half, so. correct mm -hmm. yeah but they do bleed into each other huh so to speak and for, except uh, for one of them yeah the, which, there's only one that has two completely separate stories really lame connective tissue in that regard but yeah so you uh so this uh this guy goes to in investigate you know the nasty springwoodness uh because it's what springwood confidential i think so the yeah there's the a kid there's yeah springwood confidential like. there's no. a kid named randy jennings that's mm -hmm. having trouble and his mom brings him on to the show very much like you'd see on your old school Geraldos and yeah. jerry springers and stuff like that and the my son believes there's a dream it. person yeah. after him and stuff like that it's mm -hmm. that kind of thing and so the show follows the family you know mm -hmm. telling their story and stuff and Freddy becomes wrapped up in it, and so yeah. What, what did you think of this particular episode? For I you? thought this one was decent, actually. I thought it was a, a, a nice segue, especially in the late 1980s when stuff like Geraldo, as you mentioned, and Oprah, and <clears throat> you know, uh, boy, there's a, a slew uh, of yeah, others I that mean, I could really care to two cents. Ricky about. Lake back in the day. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? her too. Um, uh, the, that. There's one that is el eluding me, a, a, a particular name, because he was very exploitative before Jerry Springer, and it's just, okay. you know, it's not hitting my mind properly. But, yeah, I thought this was interesting as far as the transference. There is a very amusing scene where the mom uh, appears in a dream sequence to him, because the, the, the guy stays at the house with them, and then she's like, you helped my son, and now I want to help you. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that yeah, made, there's... really made me laugh. <laughs> That's the guy's dream, obviously, yeah. and stuff, but... Well, that's the interesting thing. So the, the weird thing about Freddy's Nightmares is because it's divided up into two separate stories, but they are attached mm -hmm. in in all but one of the episodes. Yeah, the first one, the pretty much. Yeah, well, no, well, this I mean, first the first one, one was only the Freddy story and then all mm -hmm. the rest. Well, were... no, no, because the, the second half of this episode was the cameraman yeah. following up on everything and, and getting wrapped up in the story as well. So all of the episodes except for Photo Finish had two stories but they were tied together somehow mm -hmm. photo yeah. finish not so much except for someone reading Characters a magazine like you over. said yeah i was referring just to the first episode of season one oh forgive me okay it, yeah okay. yeah yeah entirely about freddy but yeah all, all all the rest are divided and there's a little connective tissue and you know it just kind of segues and uh, and there's some kills, like you said, you know, and it gets a little bit more aggressive. There is a decapitation in this one. I counted one, two, three, four kills total in this episode. Mm -hmm. So it, it, they really stepped it up in the second season. I agree. In the first season, it was really just the episode would focus on one person and maybe one other person would die to stimulate that person's fear. And then by the end, that person would be dead. This, they really ramp it up where there's multiple mm -hmm. people that die to stimulate the fear 
Uh, well, really, you know, it's it's one or two people that die to stimulate the fear of one person, and then the second story, the same yeah. thing happens. Yeah, you know I feel I mean? like we had more Freddy, too, in the fact that, like, they would show, like, an intro scene or two, and then he would jump in and interject from his dream world. Right. You know, so there was more Robert Englund screen time in this, too, which was kind of cool. Uh, as we segue from the first story into the second story, the cameraman, who was a big part of them actually going on set to this, on, on like offset, I guess you would probably say, mm -hmm. to this house of this kid, the cameraman is the one who was like, I've heard these stories about Freddy, man, you know, and so on and so forth. And then his girlfriend, who also works for the news channel, gets killed at the beginning of the second half. And mm -hmm. he just has this vendetta where he is trying to go and find more Freddy stuff. And this is the episode where I really started to understand that the show is really not holding the Freddy lore in the highest regard. They no. are starting to really play fast and loose with the rules very very much so and not uphold the you know sanctity of the i mean there was a scene in particular in the second half of this where he gets to a particular area where there's like homeless people living and stuff and he's supposed to have fallen asleep like very briefly there's like lots of that stuff in this second season where people, people fall asleep so like, quickly yeah and you're and, and he's suddenly there and you're like okay. it's a conceit you have to give for a 40 minute to, episode you have to, because honestly i thought the acting in the second episode and it, it was kind of heart-wrenching with the second guy's... half you're talking about yeah, of the first episode second okay. half of the first episode of season two the one with the cameraman mm -hmm. who uh is trying to find the dead girlfriend and everything and just get some information he's positive freddy has killed her uh, I thought his acting was good and heartfelt, actually. D and it's that long hair, bro, that's so no, hard. Like, it's, it's not so just, it's of not, the time, <laughs> It's though. not just that. No. It's so of the time. Yeah. It's it's really funny. So, the yeah, first second, episode was strong. Mm -hmm. So, let's move into the next one. Now, is Photo Finish technically next, chronologically? Because I watched it out of order. I watched yeah, it last. Yeah, okay. yeah. chronologically, it's next. Because the, the, the one next. after this is actually a sequel to this. So do we want to mm -hmm. do it out of order and just talk about the sequel? I guess we can do it out of order. Sure, All right, sure so we'll do it out of order. Yeah. The next one is technically episode number <clears throat> 33, Dreams That Kill. Mm -hmm. The last one was called Dream Come, Come True. True. This one's called Dreams, Dreams That, that Kill. kill. Oh. Right, so this one, um, this one actually picks back. up. No, no, the talk show host is totally different. Well, it is. He's the replacement. He's the replacement yeah, that says, the yeah, the show, Springwood Confidential, the last talk show host that we didn't see happen on camera, mm -hmm. he apparently died investigating the dream stuff after what happened in the last episode. Yep. So now it's a whole new thing, and supposedly he's going to try and bring the kid Randy that survived the last episode on, but he dies in the background, mm -hmm. you know, and so Freddie is now spreading... Um, to the to this new guy this new guy is trying to make an episode about what happened the first time around talking about how one of the guys was going crazy talking about freddy krueger and freddy shows up to say hey don't do it yeah. don't do this series don't talk about it because i don't want people to know that i'm around you know so i like very, to be able to play yeah which is kind of off cast though because like they want you know, freddie wants to spread but yeah. this episode works against that it does it right. does but it's still interesting in the fact that he would come into some of these dreams not to kill them but to warn them mm -hmm. i thought that was in kind of odd but interesting you know kind of play and yes. uh yeah this guy is relatively schmucky in his own regard but uh yeah he's he's like very much like uh, uh the guy in the tales from the crypt episode where it was very sensationalist uh it was like tv terror if i recall correctly and he's going to uh check out the ghost house and just uh almost like geraldo but yet uh, like amplified to be much more of an asshole so to speak and yeah yeah this guy plays it well he's only in half of the episode though because the second half is uh yeah drastically different in that regard right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely but uh now that well what the second half was doing specifically i've got mark lindstrom dr Irwin. well the second half is where after freddie has killed this tv host okay uh there is a, a very just experimental brain uh trans like That's brain, right. yeah 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 there was this brain matter like transfer treatment brain transference yeah oh my happens. god that's right yeah, where the so dude literally the just and injects starts, the head and like yeah. just pulls fluid out yeah. and like and injects brain in cells to this into kid who's been kid. in an accident right. and the kid starts acting like our tv host mm -hmm. and you're just like okay well this is obviously stretching a little bit and then they're having open casting auditions for the replacement for the killed 
the you know previous host who you know had the nasty brain matter taken out and of course the new kid gets the job and yeah he is like uh, wow anyone ever host. tell you you do a you know yeah, great impression that, of yeah, this guy you yeah, know yeah yeah the producer tells him that right off the bat and this one i did not have as much i wasn't a big in, fan of this as, one, no. uh, yeah in, in contrast with the previous mm -hmm. so yeah it could have been better yeah this one could have been better um I, i'm trying to look at the kills real quick nothing nothing too sensational um it, it's some of it's done actually off camera even so yeah that one's which not a, very great yeah yeah which is the big thing with trying to keep this from being you know pay cable you know craziness is i mean there's there's minimal gore and blood and stuff and a little bit more in this particular season but it's not full-on r-rated insanity so that's how they can get away with it i guess in the 80s the censors were like well as long as there's no boobs or you know nasty language we can just have as much blood as possible and there's lots of implied sex and mm -hmm. sex and stuff mm -hmm. like that so yeah it just continues going in that regard so moving into the third episode of these final four for mm -hmm. season two Freddy Krueger episodes of Freddy's Nightmares, we're going to talk about Photo Finish. Technically broadcast before <clears throat> this one. Indeed, technically broadcast before the one we just spoke about. And but this one say. is one that I didn't even know about, except for the fact that Fuego was like, hey, I was like, hey, be ready to review the seven Freddy episodes. He's like, you know, there were eight, right? And I was like, what? And so he told me about Photo Finish, so I watched Photo Finish, and believe it or not, it was actually I liked it. one of my favorite ones. Yeah, it's yeah cool. I really liked it. It's about a, a photographer, a female photographer that was all the rage, like, you know, someone that was really well respected in the photography community, and now she's doing, like, family portraits on an annual basis. Yeah. And she gets called by this upstart people doing this magazine called kink mm -hmm. and um, they're so like hip. we want we want hip we want crazy we want you to stretch the limits of what you can do photography wise and they're like they're trying to bring her back in the fold they're like if you do this well then you know you don't have to do family portraits ever again Yeah, career resurgence all that indeed so she has the first actress and the first actress she has to have weight and she's like just lean up against the pole and you know rest your eyes or whatever while i get things ready while she's resting her eyes, she falls asleep and Freddie shows up and starts like messing with her and dancing with her and like, you know, getting close and like the girls like, and so the photographer sees her doing all these things. Obviously she doesn't see the Freddie part of it, yeah. but she looks like she's fighting for her life and she's, she's trying like flailing to, yeah, flailing and, and she's trying to be a photographer that catches all the dark underbelly now. And so she takes the pictures and the, the the her boss really likes them. It's like you gotta push the envelope further. So they have another uh, 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 model show up, and she's laying in a coffin with a wooden stake, and she's supposed to act like she's you know gonna get attacked by a wooden stake for the thing. Mm -hmm. And of course she falls asleep, and the photographer turns around just in time to see her fighting with the wooden stake like she's supposed to but she's actually asleep and freddy is trying to push the wooden stake down on her and it is a cool bit with freddy because he mm -hmm. like is the mummy who's wrapped up and then no he's... no that's the third one that's the is third it? one. Oh, oh, oh that's right yep. yeah, yeah yeah you're right so right. so so, so yeah the, she pushes the stake down he succeeds in pushing the stake into her mm -hmm. she drives it into herself while the photographer takes the pictures like Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, take five. I'm going to go develop these. And she, like, doesn't even pay attention to what might have actually happened. Goes into the other room, develops the pictures, and then comes back out and is like, Okay, you can go. Here, let me help you take the... Oh, you're actually dead. Yeah. What's happened. And yeah. then she goes in the cover-up mode because she's like, oh man, my hands are on the stake. Mm -hmm. Like, I would obviously be I sent the pictures off I already, said, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. So. What did I do here? So she refuses to do the third photo shoot and yet the, the editor from kink is like no if you don't do this we're not using any of them well no not You're only that done. but freddie visits her and says uh, yeah, you yeah. know yeah, oh i'm you know let's work together you know if without me you know but we i'm your muse and True. you gotta kill yeah, and stuff yeah. and so she at first refuses mm -hmm. when the when the kink editor calls and's like we got to do one more shoot she's like no i'm not gonna do anymore you gotta make do with what you're she's like well no that's not how things work anymore you either do this third one or you're out the whole job. Done so. Yeah. And so she's like, and this is actually really good where she yeah. has to decide on the phone and she does the acting work where she's like, okay, okay, yeah. fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Like she literally, I, you see her make the decision to kill another model I gotta to say, revive her career. I thought this older actress was really good. Really good. In this. Yeah, yeah. This was a solid episode, man. It of was the one Jessica of the, Lang level yeah, at the truly, time. You no, know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean like appearance and age and yeah, like loveliness and whatnot. And yeah. I, so I really like that. So 
things uh obviously this is where i like this show because they do the monkey's paw twist very much right she serves up the third model for freddie and yeah. then freddie turns the tables on her and it, it does the monkey's paw twist i'm not going to ruin it because this one's actually good and again but i'm going to i'm going to provide the links to all of these episodes yeah. in the comments down below so we're not going to spoil them you can watch them yourselves yeah they're and all see on daily these twist motion ending. they're so. all on daily motion yeah. um all, all except one one had a separate link for it oh, but yeah. But nonetheless, you can watch them all that we're talking about. So I don't want to ruin it. But it had a really good ending. The weird thing about it is that it then transitioned into a story that was completely separate from it. And it I was still a Freddy story. I didn't like it, man. I didn't like it very much. Well, yeah. actually, that's not true. I this did is, like this, this one. This is one of the ones. No, where they I did played, like this. This one. is one of the ones where they played with the rules so significantly, yes. as far as like people but again, being asleep or not. You and I are on I the mean, same page when yeah. it comes to different turns of the wheel. Yeah. Else worlds. Yeah. Truly. This is not Psyche, the standard yeah, Freddy. No, this is no, this not. separate Freddy world where he can do these more magical things. And in that regard, I thought the acting was really solid. From so there's mm -hmm. a bunch of FBI agents who come onto the scene of this home. And I, I, there was a like, murder that happened. An entire family was murdered. Yeah, you see it at weird the beginning of the episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. and even a little girl getting shot. It's like really, that was aggressive. Yeah, it's it, it's it's pretty disconcerting and something that's going to upset you a little bit. But so this trio comes on board and they're investigating the scene. And you have one guy who spent two years incarcerated as just trying to figure out how criminals work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which you know both of the guys are like reaming him at and like like ridiculing. But him he's and, he's very intuitive and mm -hmm. he he's very much like will from the hannibal tv series because he does it seen, you haven't seen but, he does mm. exactly what this guy does he mm. goes into a thing he's like he, he, re he literally literally where the screen does this wipe and it mm. wipes back to what it looked like then and he's in the perspective of the killer okay. and he's like and he will talk to him too and he'll say why did you do this why did you do that mm. it was just a prototype version of the Will character from Hannibal. Any of you that watch the Hannibal TV series, that's what this investigator does. It was a really prototypical version of it, and I, I adored it for that. One of the things I will say about the Freddy's Nightmare show is I don't really feel like there's been any hammy, super crappy acting. It, not I mean, not only been, that, There's but... been like little bits here and there, but for, for the most part, it, it takes itself seriously, and it is well acted. What I'll give it credit uh. for is utilizing Freddy in different ways in totally, almost totally every different. time yeah. Yeah. that he pops up in an episode. Yeah. He's used in... Yes, it's all based in dreams, but it's all done just a little bit differently. And mm -hmm. I, I really... I got to give this show credit where credit's due in that estimation. So once we're all done and we do the big wrap up at the end of this, I'm curious about the rest of the series, honestly, man. I, I, you know, <laughs> I mean, well, you know, well, I mean, maybe that's a that lot might be watching. worth doing. It's a lot it's of a lot watching, watching, but you know, uh, hey, you sat through all the tales from the crypts I and did, some yeah. of the tales from the dark sides. Yeah, 103 <laughs> episodes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> let's move into the fourth episode. Yes, the final, the one. final episode of yeah. the series, and which was called "It's My Party." It's my party, and no, and you'll die if I want you to. Yeah. It's my party and, and you'll die, die if I want you to Die if I want you to Die if I want you to You will die too If, if I stick these in you, in you. Nerd, 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 That would stick. be a lot better if I had these in my It would, my it would. Although we Reset don't get, Although we don't Reset. get that until the second half of the episode You would die too when I stick these in you Bum 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 Dead yeah, beautiful. <laughs> that works. That was worth going back for. Indeed, indeed. But, <laughs> All right, so Fuego, talk about this one. Yeah, the interesting thing about this one is that we don't actually get the title story and the description until the second half, which is a Freddy Krueger five class kills reunion. in this episode. By the this, way, this this one had a lot of actually, kills, actually six. Yeah, this one was solid and much better than I was anticipating, despite the silliness of it. So the first half is about this woman who was a medium, and she, I liked this. Yeah, one. and she is possessed by Freddy. So it's continuing the theme similar to the previous this story episode. is about a medium that is a fake medium but she mm -hmm. actually gets possessed by freddie yeah that's what we're and, and then right she's now. like admiring her boobs when it. she's <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's yeah. good it's good it's a really good episode go ahead Fuego. Talk Indeed, about yeah it. yeah but so uh she is somebody who makes a mad amount of money on these different like circuits and stuff like that she's even at a convention where she's talking to that one guy who's like yeah he thought there was one of the three stooges in this hollywood home that was haunting him and so i convinced him he had the other two stooges there and he paid me twelve thousand dollars and this is like 1989 so mm -hmm. that's legitimate money um it's 
She's a complete fraud. 100%. And in one of her shows, she actually turns into Freddy, mm -hmm. and she doesn't even know it that it yeah. happens yeah, until and after the show. Yeah, everybody is joking with her. Drink, yeah, 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 yeah. This is where the rule stuff is really getting kind of murky as of far course. as far as okay, so Freddy, as opposed to even if you're in your dreams, like maybe you fall asleep and he permanently possesses you, and then you wake up and you still have Freddy in you. It's, I don't know, it's a little weird, but I actually really dug this one personally, <laughs> and uh, it was nasty with some of the kills and. I mean, it was some of the best dialogue, excuse me, man, <laughs> that uh, uh, Robert had done, you know, throughout the course of the entire thing. It, I like that Freddy like transferred. Yeah. Freddy would, was a tr transferring consciousness in mm -hmm. this one, and that was that was something new, you Between know, Between a couple different people, actually. Yeah, and, and so I, I dug that they were trying to do something different. That's, mm -hmm. th it's so funny. At the time, I don't think I would have liked these, because right. I'm like, this isn't Freddy, they're doing something so different, it's so weird, but... Having the ability to look at a, at this point, 40 plus year, or right. no, 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 84 was the first one. So 25, 35, 25 or 35 yeah. plus year. Thank right. you. 35 year, you know, uh, I mean, like oh, oeuvre of, of, yeah, I mean, of the span material. of our lifetimes, essentially. Over, a little more you. for you, a little less for me. I mean, um, the span of our lifetimes. 35 years worth of material. Looking back at these like little just side stories like this is what freddy could be they're almost i'm like, on board man yeah, i yeah. think it's totally why hasn't a studio new line or whoever warner bros owns nightmare on elm street why hasn't anyone stepped up and like revitalized these episodes and put them out because they're they're so worth it it's still never seen an official release which is what's that's crazy. what i'm saying we had to bootleg all this it's stuff not high it's not like episodes. high quality production but it's it's Great story entertainment for it, Freddy lovers, although we haven't watched the rest of the episodes. Truly, yes, it truly. might oversaturate it. So there's, there's 44 episodes between the two seasons. Okay. Only eight of them had to do with Freddy. Hi. So that's, uh, yeah, no, Susie no, just yes, walked up for Susie this. Even slow time. Um, so we're finishing up this review. Now, is a 44-episode series worth watching for only eight Freddy episodes? Is that why they haven't redone it? Like, why not just release the Freddy apps? I well, would be pissed. Well, if he still acts as the If you were watching it and you didn't know that it only Freddy was only going to be in a few and you found out, like... Yeah. Because that's the thing. It's about four that's weeks worth of TV. You get one yeah. Freddy episode per week. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like it might oversaturate it a if they, little Actually, bit. if they did it weekly, yeah. it's, it's... So they did this from, like, a usual... TV standpoint, so it started oh, yeah. in the fall and yeah, ended. It started in like late wow. September, early October. Yeah, and it once went till the if you're doing yeah. that and you're Which only getting is. one Freddy episode a month, that yeah. would be I'm a little a bit huge tough. To sit you know, I'm a huge Freddy fan, and you I'd are. be fucking yeah. pissed. I yeah. feel like that would be a bit oversaturating um, the market for it. Just to get if some you had that much, if though, it was more I than mean, just those, eight, even eight, if he wasn't a direct like involvement in the episode story stuff. He basically, oh, Susie's gone. I was just about to tell her. It's okay. <laughs> uh, he acted as the Crypt Keeper, essentially, in this series. And yet, right. this series was before Tales from the Crypt, you know? So he bookended the episodes, and yet he wasn't in direct involvement except for those eight. And so, uh, yeah, the last half of this last episode that Freddy was involved with, it's all about that uh, Springwood High School reunion, 20 year reunion. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have this guy, he was a script writer, he's hooking up with an old classmate, uh, there is uh, all kinds of things afoot from stealing of screenplay ideas to, you know, chatter about how Freddy, uh, how Fred Krueger was not that bad of a guy, that one nerdier dude who was friends with him. It's like, no, once you get to know Fred, you know, he wasn't that bad of a guy, I don't know where he went wrong, you know, so on and so forth, but it's, uh, I don't know, I like the first half significantly better with, uh, you know, kills and craziness and stuff, but, uh, as a bookending aspect to this, I thought the reunion kind of made sense, you know. Mm -hmm. So no, I agree. It was it was okay. It, the episode wasn't one of my favorites, but it wasn't bad. I did like the amount of death that was involved. You know, huh. obviously six kills was the most in the whole series, but um, ultimately, I think that some of the other episodes just had better storylines yeah. and things like that. But it was still enjoyable enough as an episode yeah it was interesting to see these kids from 1970 uh, graduating class coming back to it and saying man there's like nobody at this where is everybody mm -hmm. and they're like well everyone has either died or moved out of springwood there was only nine people that came back for it mm -hmm. and they're just like Ugh, the numbers have been thinned what happened and that's obviously just representative of that <laughs> 
So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a decent episode, and uh, it's, but as a whole, this is a... If, if you're a completist, if you're a purist of the Freddy stuff, it's worth watching. And if it's on Daily Motion, which is where I watched it, mm -hmm. I know you bought uh, like a bootleg version of the series on A eBay long time ago, yeah, and one of the discs doesn't yeah. even work, so yeah, I, like, I gotta buy it again. Yeah, I I still enjoyed this on par with like a Tales from the Dark Side that had a lot of crappy episodes. I I, I really want to make the time to see some of these other weird non Freddy stories where he's only introducing them as opposed to being part of the plot point mm -hmm. within them. Mm -hmm. So. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for our we review it. of Freddy's Nightmares. We made it through the eight Freddy episodes. So why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below. Have you watched any of these? Do you enjoy any of these? Um, let us know. If you haven't, again, I'm going to provide the links in the comments down below um, or the description box. So provide. the four episodes we talked about, they will be down there. And uh, let us know what you think about them. If you watch them after the fact, come back and comment. If you guys didn't know, we are in the final stages, the final days of the Indiegogo campaign for Dylan's New Nightmare. Mm. It is the Freddy Krueger fan film sequel to Wes Craven's New Nightmare. It is unofficial, but we have Nico Hughes returning to reprise his Ooh. role as Dylan Porter. Just a few more days to contribute. Thank you guys very much. If you do uh, take a look at it, even if you can't contribute, please share it out. We greatly appreciate it. But until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I've been Jaime and Fuego. <laughs> and remember, stay, stay scared. scared.